Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500. This particular one is the high country trim and I believe it has the 6.2 liter V8 engine and 10 speed automatic transmission. This is the slightly refreshed uh, version for the 2023 model year. Updated headlights as well as grill. The fog lights and the tow recovery hooks are the same. I believe you could get this late 2022. Parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Front facing camera right here. You still have the side vents that go around to the wheels. Beautiful LED headlights. High Country is stamped into the grill. 6.2 liter badges on the hood. Coming around to the side, we have your High Country badging right here. Down to the wheel and tire setup, we have some Bridgestone Alenzas, and it looks like these are 22 inch wheels. Silverado badging down the side of the cab. Brushed mirror caps, blind spot monitor. This has the drop down running boards. So what's cool about these is if you have to get something in the back of the bed, push the button, the running boards will actually move back for you. When you're done, kick it and they'll go back. Also has the passive entry system. So as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. Capless fuel fill port. Third brake light, cargo uh, camera, and then rear view mirror camera. This wing is also designed to shoot air over the uh, bed. So even if you don't have a tonneau cover, you'll still have less drag. This has the dual exhaust. So your tailgate step is gonna be slightly smaller on this one. Your blind spot monitor is gonna be located right in there. Parking sensors again are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. You have a seven pin connector as well as your uh, trailer video cameras. Silverado badging on the driver's side, high country badging on the passenger side. This one does have the pro tailgate system. I'll go over that a little bit later. Absolutely beautiful color on this truck. I believe, I wanna say this is a Norsky blue metallic, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, the Chevy lady here said that this was a uh, 2023. She said most of the stuff here is 2023, so uh, I'll take her word for it. But uh, overall, very, very nice looking truck. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off over here on the driver's side, we have this really nice, soft, blued leather. It actually feels really nice to the touch with this real wood trim throughout. High Country is stamped on both driver and passenger sides. All of your window controls are going to be right here. The front two are automatic up and down. In front of that we have the window controls with your power mirror fold button. Electronic parking brake, push button transfer case with drive mode dial, push button for tow haul mode, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Above that you have your dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Then you have your fog light button and your cargo lamp button. Coming up to the dashboard, really nice leather dashboard with heads-up display that is controlled by this button right here fully digital instrument cluster very programmable uh, you can pretty much monitor anything you could ever imagine through this i like that automo uh, that the um, automotive industry is moving towards digital instrument clusters they're more tailored to the individual coming back to the steering wheel we have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel I believe we have the somewhat autonomous um, drive mode. I, I'm blanking on what it's called, uh, but it's semi-autonomous. As long as you have your hands on the wheel, it'll kind of uh, drive for you. Pretty cool. Pedal shifters on both sides. Cruise control buttons right here. Lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control button. Steering wheel mounted uh, call buttons as well as the scroll wheel and control pad for the center LCD display. You have a nice storage tray up top. Looks like somebody left some change in there for me. That's pretty cool of them. Then we have a massive horizontal touchscreen display, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Unfortunately, I don't have the key so I won't be able to go through it, 
but it does have the new operating uh, software uh, for the newer, bigger touchscreens. Very, very nice. Uh, I don't know specifically what this is. I think this one may be the autonomous, semi-autonomous driving, or this one's the lane keep assist. This one's like the blue cruise or whatever they call it, the hands-free drive mode or whatever. Oh, the screen is working. Very cool. You can control your climate through here. You can control your, tra you have your trailering app so you can do your pre-trip checklist. Um, this thing is very, very cool, very sleek and obviously powered by Google. You have a 4G LTE connection. You can Google search and stuff on here. It's pretty sweet. Like I was saying, lane keep assist, parking sensors off, automatic start, stop off, tailgate down, hazard lights, traction control off, all windows down. Under that you have your push button start, integrated trailer brake control, heated and ventilated seats with your heated steering wheel button right here. I love that General Motors offers the option to have just the heated seat back on. Dual zone climate control. Down here you have a nice storage tray, storage tray right here, two cup holders, and a very sleek minimalistic style shifter. I do like that a lot. Wireless charging pad's gonna be right here. Lift up on this, giving us access to a removable storage tray. You have a USB-C and USB, as well as a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Then you have these integrated hooks right here for file folders. So if you do use this vehicle as a work vehicle, you can keep all your files nice and organized. Beautiful high country stitching in the blue leather seats. This vehicle has two glove boxes. Again, real wood throughout on the glove box. First one's right here. Second one's gonna be right here. Coming up top to the vanity, it is LED lit for passenger, as well as your driver. Up top, you have a three-door universal garage remote. The buttons on the side control the single pane sunroof, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm not a huge fan of the dual pane. You have way more headroom this way. This button right here controls the power sliding rear window. And then in front of that, you have the video rear view mirror that is auto dimming. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have access to it because I don't have the keys, but you can control the brightness, how high or how low the camera views and how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera is. Uh, overall, this is a much needed update and refresh from uh, Chevy. I think they did a really good job and now I feel like it's even more difficult to um, choose between the big three in terms of uh, interior. I think all of them are extremely competitive. With that being said, let's take a look at the rear seats and see how much legroom we have. I'll point out before we get in, uh, you do have under seat storage with this vehicle. Load flat floor, tons of space, in seat storage as well on both driver and passenger sides. Getting in is real easy with the grab handle and the running boards. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid 10 inches to a foot of leg room before my knees hit the front seat. Uh, you do get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Cup holders right here. Heated captain's chairs, USB-C and USB, as well as your HVAC vents. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And then your LED dome map lights are gonna be up top in the middle. Uh, something that I really like and appreciate is Chevy has actually pushed the headliner uh, of the vehicle up about three to four inches, giving rear occupants even more headroom. And again, having a single pane sunroof uh, gives everybody in the vehicle more headroom. Overall, I really do like the updated interior. I think this is a great refresh. Let's take a look at the bed. So like I said earlier, this guy has the pro uh, tailgate system. It's got two tailgates. The first one is the small one. Second one is the whole thing. To open the small one, you're gonna push the top button. It's gonna beep, it's gonna come down. So if you have items that are a little bit longer and you don't wanna put the full tailgate down, you can just lean them, lean them at an angle on here. To keep them in, you can push this up too and it acts as kind of an extended tailgate. To put that away, you just simply push up on it. If you want to use the tailgate regularly, come down and push the bottom button. It will automatically drop for you. Spray and bed liner from the factory. Three tie down points in each of the four corners for a total of 12, which is class leading. 
115 volt, 400 watt power outlet on the passenger side. LED bed lighting as well. If you look too, they've pushed out the bed sides as far as they can, maximizing as much cargo space, which again is class leading. And you have a bed step right here. So to access the bed step, you're gonna come up to it and push both buttons at the same time. And then once you've done that, you're gonna fold this down. This has that grip tape like a skateboard. Come up here, grab this, and you're up and into the bed. To put it away, you're just gonna reverse the process, pull up on this latch, fold it down, fold this in, and then grab the bottom. And in one motion, you can put the bed up. Viewers wanna know the payload and towing capacity of the vehicle. It looks like because, oh, nope, there it is. I don't know how well it's gonna come through. If it's too bright or not. Let me see if I can adjust the settings real quick. There we go. So there you have it, 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up with more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And please be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.